A lot of things we know today have been discovered by scientists. From Isaac Newton to Marie Curie, these people dedicated almost their entire lives to discovering important things. Although many of them aren't household names, it's worth commending them for trying to improve the world one study at a time. Without them, we probably wouldn't know most of the concepts that we understand today. With that being said, scientists are usually the people who can explain the many archaeological discoveries left behind by our ancestors. But occasionally, they too get stumped. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the strangest discoveries that scientists still don't fully understand. From the mysterious Piri Reis map to the cryptic Chauvet cave paintings, here are the 15 most amazing discoveries scientists still can't explain. Number 15. The Mysterious Piri Reis Map The world is constantly changing, and it's no question that our planet today doesn't look anything like it did millions of years ago. However, the changing of our continents is gradual and slow. There's no way for a new continent to appear in a span of a few years. That's why many archaeologists and researchers are baffled by the mysterious Piri Reis map. This map was discovered by a German theologian working at the Topkapi Palace Library in Istanbul in 1929. The map was drawn and signed by a Turkish cartographer named Ahmed Piri, also known as Piri Reis in 1513. The map, for the most part, was accurate. But one feature baffled modern researchers. It seemed to show Antarctica, which was strange because it wasn't until 300 years after the map was drawn that it was discovered. Not only was this strange, but the Piri Reis map also showed Antarctica as a landmass, not the ice-covered continent that we know today. This fact might be true 6,000 years ago, but the continent was already a frozen wasteland when the map was drawn. Some people think that perhaps the landmass was actually another continent or island, but many believe that perhaps Piri Reis knew something that many modern cartographers didn't. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. The Mysterious Werewolf-Like Skull in a Chain Box The origins of the werewolf remain unclear. These creatures are humans in appearance, but can turn into wolf-like beings during the full moon. Because of their beast-like appearance, they were feared by many all throughout history. That's why a lot of people were shocked when a Bulgarian farmer discovered a chain box with a horrifying werewolf-like skull inside. Now known as the Macedonian werewolf, the skull looked like it belonged to a hybrid of a wolf and a human, which earned it its name. Werewolves have been well-known figures in Balkan folklore, with many believing that some people are naturally born with the ability to shapeshift into a wolf. While many people believe that the skull actually belonged to a werewolf, others think that it's just the bone of a deformed wolf, and nothing else. However, this doesn't explain why it was stored inside a wooden box and carefully enclosed in chains. Number 13. The London Hammer In 1936, Max Hahn and his wife discovered what is now known as the London Hammer. This artifact still puzzles researchers. And to this day, the debate over the story of this artifact continues. The London Hammer is a normal tool that was made around the late 1800s. Nothing is strange about it except the fact that it was discovered inside a rock that was over 400 million years old. No one knows how the tool ended up inside the ancient rock. Could it be that a time traveler left it behind? It just doesn't make sense that a tool from the late 1800s would be enclosed inside a rock that dates back millions of years ago, when prehistoric people used stone tools. Some claim that perhaps the entire thing is nothing but a hoax, but the mystery as to how a metal object ended up in stone millions of years old remains. Number 12. The Giant Footprints of Pingyan Do you believe that thousands or even millions of years ago, giants roamed our planet? Not a lot of people believe that giants existed, and that's mostly because there isn't much evidence to prove that they did. However, some people think that the giant foot of Pinyan can finally prove that giants roamed our planet previously. The giant footprints were found by a group of photographers in the Pinyan village of Guzhou, China. The footprints were about 57 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide, and 3 centimeters deep. Many believe they were left behind by giants millions of years ago. Despite being the first piece of concrete evidence about giants, most of the scientific community refuses to acknowledge it as a valid piece of evidence. After all, the existence of giants will significantly change what we know about our history. Number 11. Frankenstein Bog Mummies Over the years, archaeologists have discovered a lot of bog mummies. There are so many bog bodies found across Europe that discovering another one wouldn't really be a scientific breakthrough. However, 
Two 3,000-year-old Scottish bog bodies found in 2012 stumped a lot of researchers. You see, only two bodies have been discovered in the bog, but it turned out they were the remains of not two, but six people. Thousands of years ago, someone thought it would be a great idea to stitch up the remains of six people, making them look like two individuals before burying them. I can't even fathom why someone would assemble two corpses from various body types of different people. And the tragic thing is, we might never know the reason behind the Frankenstein mummies. Do you have any theories as to why this was done? Let me know about them in the comments below. Number 10. Cave with the Longest Record of Human Activities Panga Yasaidi is a cave located in Kilifi County, southeastern Kenya. This archaeological site is one of the most mysterious places on Earth. Unlike other caves, archaeologists found artifacts and deposits in Pangaea Saidi in almost every period, from the Middle Stone Age to the Iron Age. It isn't unusual for archaeologists to find signs of human activity in caves. The Pangaea Saidi showed signs that it was used from around 78,000 years ago to as recent as 400 years ago. No one knows which settlers lived in the cave. It's likely that different groups of people settled down at the site. Various stone tools were excavated in the area from tools made of quartz and limestone. To this day, no one knows why exactly Pangaea Saidi was chosen as a long-term settlement, but perhaps the abundance of flora and fauna around the area made it an attractive shelter for different people across different eras. Number 9. Body of a Monk Found Inside a Statue I know, it sounds strange, but in 2015, a CT scan revealed that a mummified monk was actually inside an ancient Buddha statue. The Buddha statue was estimated to be thousands of years old. While the Buddha seemed big, there was nothing strange about it, and no outward signs of a human body being inside. Only when the researchers in the Netherlands decided to scan the statue did we discover the secret that hid within. Inside the gold-painted figure was a mummy of a Buddhist monk stuck in a lotus position. It turned out that the monk's organs were removed, and it was replaced with paper inscribed with ancient Chinese characters. How the body of the monk was embalmed and stored inside the statue remains to be a mystery to this day. Number 8. The Strange Concept of Coffin Births It's quite tragic, but there have been times when pregnant women died shortly before giving birth. Many of them died weeks or even days before they could give birth to their young. And while it's tragic, nothing can be done to prevent them. However, researchers have been puzzled by a strange phenomena, coffin birth. There have been several cases in history when a pregnant woman died and allegedly gave birth inside a coffin. For instance, in 2010, a team of archaeologists discovered the remains of a pregnant woman who died at some point between the 7th and 8th centuries. Nothing was strange about it, aside from the fact that between her legs were the remains of a fetus that looked as if it had been born after the woman's death. This strange phenomenon is just one of the many instances of coffin births in history. Many historical records contain stories about women who gave birth after death. Some scientists think that these records are nothing but made-up tales. But the discovery of this coffin birth changed their minds. To this day, researchers are trying to determine whether such a strange thing is possible. Number 7. The Queen of Egypt's Perfume Born sometime around 70 to 69 BC, Cleopatra VII lived to be an incredible ruler who saw the last of the ancient Egyptian civilization reigned by the pharaohs. Her death marked the end of the Hellenistic Egypt and sparked the beginning of Egypt under the rule of the Roman Empire. Cleopatra is known throughout history as the Queen of Egypt and a seductive temptress. She became involved with several of the most influential men of her time, including the renowned Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Cleopatra was known to be an incredible woman with an appearance unrivaled by any other during her time. However, this just might not be the case. She is often portrayed as a beautiful seductress in modern media, but historical artifacts show her in a different light. Coins with Cleopatra's face show her with a large nose and rather manly features. Some say that the queen herself wanted to be depicted close to the likeness of a man to show strength. The ancient writer Plutarch wrote that Cleopatra wasn't the beautiful lady people thought she was. Her face didn't captivate anyone, and it was average at best. The rumors of Cleopatra being extremely beautiful were started by the Romans, who portrayed her as a manipulative woman who used her charms for political gains. And yet, Cleopatra captivated people not through her beauty, but through her wit, intelligence, and irresistible charm. She spoke Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, Egyptian, Greek, and several other languages. 
She was knowledgeable in mathematics, philosophy, oratory, astronomy, and other fields. It's no wonder that she elevated the ranks of scholars in ancient Egypt and enjoyed her time among them. It's clear that Cleopatra possessed wisdom and intelligence unrivaled by no other woman of her time. But because of the stories that associate her with an ancient femme fatale, many people are curious about her beauty routine to this day. Some say that she bathed in donkey milk and honey, while some claim that she bathed in wine. Everyone today is still curious as to what she did to be renowned for her beauty. One of the things researchers are trying to discover is the secret behind her perfume. Recently, scientists are looking to recreate the aroma of Queen Cleopatra's perfume. Since 2012, several teams of researchers have been trying to bring back the scent the Queen once wore. Researchers already gathered some data from the leftover formulas in ancient Egyptian perfume jars, but we're still unsure whether the scent is accurate. Aromas in ancient civilizations remain to be largely a mystery to us. Several years ago, researchers were finally able to recreate a perfume that lasted for a staggering two years. Although the longevity of the perfume suggests that it's close to the formula the ancient Egyptians created, its smell might still not be the same as the one Cleopatra used. It might take years before we can determine whether the aroma that the researchers created is accurate. But we are surely one step closer to discovering more about one of the most prominent and influential women in ancient history. Number 6. Advanced Stone Age Tools Discovered in India Recently, archaeologists discovered a huge haul of ancient stone tools in India. More than 7,000 of them were discovered, and each one was unlike anything we've ever seen before. Despite being carved out of stone, they were far more sophisticated and precise than other tools made during their time. The stone tools were made with advanced shaping techniques. And what's astonishing is that many of them date as far back as 385,000 years ago. To this day, archaeologists are still trying to discover how settlers in the area hundreds of thousands of years ago developed such a refined way of tool making. Number 5. Ancient Society That Buried Disabled Children Like Kings Living 34,000 years ago was harrowing. Many of our ancestors lived as hunters and gatherers, which meant being unable to move around impacted the group significantly. And so researchers were quite surprised when they discovered the grave of two disabled children who were buried like royalty. One of the children was 10 years old when he died, and the other was 12 years old. Both of them were buried in an elongated slender grave filled with a lot of precious artifacts. Around them were more than 10,000 mammoth ivory beads, 20 armbands, 300 fox teeth, 16 mammoth spears, deer antlers, and even carved artwork. The graves of the two children were a stark difference from that of a 40-year-old man, who despite contributing more to the group, was buried with less treasure than the two children. These graves are known as the Sungir burials, and it's a mystery for scientists to this day as to why the children were buried in such a king-like manner. The 10-year-old boy had a short thigh bone, which suggests he was unable to walk properly when he was alive. Meanwhile, the 12-year-old boy appeared to be bedridden. Having a disability wasn't unusual tens of thousands of years ago, but these two are among the first ones to receive such a majestic burial. Why do you think they were distinguished by their group, and who were they to receive such treatment? If you have any theories, let me know about them in the comments down below. And now it's time for today's topic. When bad omens started happening after this discovery, people knew that scientists discovered what no one was supposed to see. This is a photo of a cave located in the northwestern region of China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. What made this subterranean chamber intriguing is the fact that it dates back from 3,500 to 45,000 years ago. Researchers immediately studied the chamber, thinking that it could tell us how our ancestors from different parts of the world connected. It seemed, however, that something in the chamber didn't want to get disturbed. Some of the researchers allegedly started to have bad luck, it started with little things like losing their items, until one of them got sick. Does this discovery remind you of something? It seems like there are a lot of curses around the world, and they're tied to archaeological discoveries. For instance, when the tomb of Tutankhamun was opened, many feared that it would unleash a terrible curse. And maybe it's just a coincidence that one of the people who opened the tomb died not long after the young pharaoh's eternal rest. Do you think that there really are curses in some of the world's ancient sites? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. 
the most well-preserved mummy in the world. Whenever you hear the word mummy, you most likely automatically think about ancient Egypt. After all, many of the world's finest mummies have been excavated in Egypt. But would you believe me if I told you that the most well-preserved mummy wasn't discovered in Egypt? It was discovered in China. This is Xin Zhui. She died in 163 BC, and her body was only excavated in 1971. You're probably thinking that this mummy doesn't look well-preserved. But you see, the mummy's state worsened after being exposed to the outside world. When Xin Zhui, or Lady Dai's body, was found in 1971, everyone thought that the woman died recently. Her hair was still intact, her skin was soft, and there was still type A blood in her veins. Because of her wonderfully preserved body, scientists didn't have a hard time studying the mummy. They found out that Lady Dai was a woman who lived in China during the Han Dynasty. Her appearance and her cause of death told researchers that she was someone of high status and frequently enjoyed a diet of meat. Moreover, the tomb of Lady Dai was also surrounded by more than 1,000 precious artifacts, including ancient makeup, lacquerware, a hundred wooden figures of servants, and a scrumptious meal. There really isn't much question surrounding her identity, but what puzzled scientists is the fact that her dead body looked like it died less than a week prior. Despite being stored inside the coffin for more than 2,000 years, anyone would think that Lady Di died just a week ago. When the body was exposed to oxygen, however, it quickly deteriorated. Unfortunately, there are no pictures that could justify how well-preserved Lady Di's body was when it was first discovered. One of the obvious reasons why your body is so well-preserved is because she was stored in an elaborate and airtight tomb. She was also wrapped in 20 layers of silk fabric, and her body was submerged in more than 20 gallons of an unknown liquid. It seems like this liquid is the secret behind maintaining Lady Di's body, but to this day, scientists are clueless as to what it is. Number 3. Graves Discovered Near Stonehenge Located on England's Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, this prehistoric monument is one of the most mysterious archaeological discoveries in the world. Stonehenge was built around 5,000 years ago in the late Neolithic Age, and it took over a thousand years before it was finished. Several changes were made to the monuments until completed around the early Bronze Age. When it was first discovered, researchers were extremely puzzled as to how our ancestors managed to lift enormous stones and stack them on top of each other. We also didn't know the reason why the entire monument was built in the first place. Some claim that giants were the ones who created the monument, while some claim that aliens lent our ancestors a hand in creating it. It was understandable why some people came up with these theories. After all, one of the heaviest stones used in the monument weighed around 3,600 kilograms, about the same weight as two cars. Today, the mystery behind the creation of Stonehenge is pretty much solved. The secret is that people back then used ropes and strong wooden poles and frames to raise the stones. It also wasn't long until we discovered that the prehistoric monument was used as a place of healing and a calendar. Recently, however, it turns out that there's more to it that meets the eye. It seems like Stonehenge also served as a massive grave thousands of years ago. British archaeologists discovered two ancient graves near Stonehenge. The graves belonged to a young woman and a baby, both of which date back about 4,500 years ago. It's highly likely that the two were connected to the construction of Stonehenge, but to this day, not much is known about them. Number 2. The Oldest Mummies in the World Upon looking at this, you would think that this is a spooky cursed doll. However, this is actually a Chinchoro mummy that's more than 7,000 years old. This means that the ancient Egyptians weren't the only people who successfully developed an incredible way of embalming the dead. Roughly 2,000 years before they started the practice, the people of the Chinchoro culture already knew how to embalm and preserve corpses. The Chinchoro mummies consisted of 15 bodies, including that of infants and children. The mummies weren't as well preserved as other specimens found prior, but given their age, they're remarkable examples of mummification. Researchers are hoping that by studying the mummies, they'll get to know more about the mysterious Chinchoro culture. Not much is known about these people. All we know is that they fished, hunted, and gathered. They thrived along the coast of the Atacama Desert in a place that is now Chile and Peru. Because the mummies have already been exposed to oxygen, time is of the essence. Researchers are trying to study them and digitally recreate their facial features to have an idea of what the people of Chinchoro look like. However, it is a challenge to do so while keeping the mummies intact. Number 1. 
Cryptic Chauvet Cave Paintings In 1994, a team of researchers made an incredible discovery while conducting a geological survey in the Bavavare region, France. They discovered the finest examples of prehistoric cave paintings in the world. Unlike other cave paintings discovered before, researchers couldn't tell what the abstract work of art meant. Some of the paintings consisted of abstract splotches of red and white pigment near woolly mammoths and other animals. At first, researchers were clueless as to what these abstract paintings meant. Rain? Air? Insects? It turned out that the answer was incredible. It seemed like the cave paintings were made between 30,000 and 40,000 years ago. And after careful research, scientists found out that a volcanic eruption happened around the same time. Researchers think that the abstract patterns represent the volcanic eruption. If this fact is true, these cave paintings would be the first in the entire world to show not just humans and other animals, but natural disasters as well. Here's the most interesting part. Scientists think that our ancestors were in an altered state of mind while drawing these cave paintings. To see inside the dark cave, they lit torches, which diminished the oxygen in the chamber. This inevitably caused them to be in altered states of consciousness and made them feel euphoric. This could also explain why our ancestors chose to draw in the smallest and most difficult parts of the cave. It seems like our love for art hasn't changed, even after tens of thousands of years. There are really a lot of things that we don't know about our past to this day. Which one of these ancient mysteries do you think is the most interesting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.